We are a proud owner of Doheny Road. Doheny is pronounced Dohine. Doheny Road. Dohine. Or Doheny. Do Doheny. Dohine. Doheny. Dohine. Uh, Do yeah. Bruh. Okay. I am the owner. That's right, buddy. I don't hear you. I'm too rich. I pull up on bitches, there ain't much to talk about. She riding with a man, she make an excuse to get out. Yo, 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 we're all ready to go. The realtor office is waiting on me. We have our appointment all set. Yep, yep, yep. We are on time. What time is it now? Oh, 12.09. Okay. We should be there by about 12.30 or earlier. Now, we're going to be taking our Ferrari California T out here. That's right. There we go. Go ahead and start them up. Yeah, sounds nice. Sounds nice. All right, easy mount side. It's a beautiful day out here in Los Angeles, as you can see. And a few little of those clouds out, but that sun is shining nice and bright. Let's go ahead and drop the top. Why don't we? Yes, yes. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and head off to the realtor's office. This one is going to be on um, North Hollywood Boulevard. It's not going to be the one we usually go to that's uh, downtown. So, uh, yep, let's go ahead and hurry up and get there so we can make it on time for our appointment. All right, looks like we are close to the realtor's office. It's only 12-12. All right, still on time. Let's just hurry up and go around this guy right here. Uh-oh, got a little action going on here. It's all good. LA's finest doing a job. <laughs> so this is uh, the Beverly Hills Estates right here. It's a religious office that has this uh, most expensive property for sale. Let's go ahead and check them out. And it is going to be this one right here. Uh, Doheny Road. Doheny is pronounced Doheny. What's up with I'm so wow, just by the looks of the pictures, man, this doesn't look like a small property at all. Of course, it has a pool outside. All these different rooms, though, that uh, have a view of that pool. It's kind of giving off like a hotel type of feel right here, like a big, a big hotel. That is the entire property right there, right? Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the stats. Uh, first of all, in order to purchase this right here, this is going to be about 83 million. That's right. This is going to set us back about 83 million. Uh, we we have about a billion dollars, so we can't afford it. Um, this is going to be a residential type. It's going to be in Beverly Hills. It has three levels, uh, one bedroom, two bathrooms. Uh, parking is three plus three. Wow, garage, yep, vehicle safe, yep. Uh, pool, one outdoor and one indoor. Okay, so we got two pools, all right. We got CCTV security already. And then we got the rest of the stats right there for the square footage and all that, all right. So let's go ahead and request a tour down here. Now it says go and be the agent at the property. I'm gonna go and head out. Jump inside the California T. There we go. That's how we hop in it, baby. All right, let's go around here. And um, I take it this is going to be behind us. Down this way. All right, let me cut through traffic and we'll be right over there. All right, so we're pulling up on the property right now. All right, this looks like this is going to be it. All right, has a little marker right there. 
All right, so this is going to be the garage. Might as well go ahead and pull in right here. It's a nice size garage right here. As you can see, you could park about, I would say two, two cars in here comfortably, possibly three, depending on the sizes and how you park them. But definitely two you could fit in here comfortably. Um, let me turn off my engine. We don't want that to keep revving. There we go, there we go. So since we are in the garage, uh, let's go ahead and check out this place. Uh, a nice shiny floor, as I see down there, shiny tiles. You have your work area right here. Now uh, you can work on your cars. We got some cool, nice uh, custom car pictures right here on the walls. This is nice. Looks like a McLaren right there. Okay, you got your Rolls Royce up here looking good. All right, you got some shelving space down here for uh, more tools or, you know, decorations and whatnot. And so it looks nice. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and head inside. You also got some uh, gates for the outside also. Heading inside, it looks nice. Uh, first thing you see is a lot of colors in the pictures. It's going to be a realtor right here. When we're ready to purchase the house, we're going to come back to this young gentleman right here and make that purchase for this house. And as we first come in, you're going to see these custom paintings on the wall absolutely marvelous i love it i love it fitz franklin style man um so we're gonna have some plants some dressers with some nice vases on top of them right there you got a nice seating area right here um this is like a nice open area i would say probably like a lobby area you can sit and chill um show people your uh statues or you know the stuff that you have collected you know your collectible vases and stuff like that yeah this is a nice area for that right here kind of kind of like the show off room right as soon as you get inside it's the show off room oh yeah yeah i got this picture from uh over there in uh italy you know this one just painted in back in 1789 you know type of stuff but let's go in this room over here all right, first door is going to lead us into an area where we have this stairwell. All right, more custom pictures on the wall. Looking nice, looking nice. All right, more dressers with either uh, vases and some plants around as well. Then you have um, you have your lighting at the top as well right there, your chandelier. Uh, before we head downstairs, let's head through this door and see what we got inside this door oh i see a nice shower over here okay all right you got your shower right here you could use it as well uh let's see what else we got in here through this door so many doors all right coming out of this door is going to lead you into this nice area right here we have plants custom pictures on the wall as well as some windows these doors right here is going to lead us out to uh this nice deck area you have a nice table to enjoy some meals and you have these lawn chairs where y'all could you know enjoy your tan like these young women right here hey what's up with you hey there <laughs> so uh yep they're just enjoying themselves right here you know it's free loading as usual um so it looks like we're on the third on the top floor all right so let's head back inside check out the rest of the doors that we have and through this door, where's this one go? This one goes back to this open lobby area. Okay, so we seem to go through the whole side on that side. Let's check out this side through this door before we go downstairs. And this is going to lead us to our garage where we have our Ferrari California T parked at. Let's go back in. Hit over here through this door. Now we're heading downstairs to the second floor. All right. All right, this is going to be the second floor. As soon as you come down to the second floor, you're going to see these custom paintings on the wall. And you are going to see these nice vases and these nice couches right here as well. Um, you have some flowering or vegetation over there. A nice vase, some flowers in it. Um, looks to be a nice office area, pretty much. You're going to have your office table right here with your desktop on it. A nice printer some um, fouling things so you could separate your files and documents more drawer space over here as well as some decoration custom paintings on the wall and these custom paintings on the walls just look amazing they do look amazing they look real good let's go ahead and head inside of this door see what's behind door number five by now <laughs> behind this door we're gonna have this uh, nice book shelving right here to my left where you could put all of your important books documentations or just reading stuff right there as well as this dresser right here 
nice paintings on the wall. You have your lighting in the corner, more flowers. This one has some nice see-through drapes over the windows right here. And this is going to lead out to the other deck that is on the second floor. As you can see, we're looking up at the third floor deck we were just on. We go all the way around. This will lead you into another room that we will go into as well. You have your L-shaped couch right here. Nice table space right there. You can sit and enjoy your drinks. Overlooking the pool on the first floor. And if we continue down this way on the second deck, on the second level, we have a nice seating area right there with a table. And you have a nice amount of flowers around here in the corners. Some good, nice vegetation. Let's head back in these doors that we headed outside of. Uh, right now, standing back over here, what's in this door? This door is going to lead us over to um, a nice study area. This looks like a nice study area right here. All right, you got your seating area right here with the tables, plants. You can have a nice good meeting right here or just sit here, read some books, have some discussions about something. That's what this seems to give off like a study room. All right, and this also leads out to the deck as well on the second floor. Let's head through this door. Through this door is going to lead us to outside as you can see we could head up to either floor with the staircase on the outside let's head back inside go through this door and that's the door we came out of from the steps so let's continue around this way and around the corner you're going to have a table with a nice vase and some flowers more custom paintings on the wall and it looks like a walk-in closet right here just a nice space you could put some clothes and some shoes or whatnot right here hey Who's that handsome gentleman right there? All right. <laughs> my suit looking good, right? What y'all think about my suit? Let me know down in the comment section, man. My suit looking right. I like the suit. All right. So let's go inside of here. This door is going to lead us back into our nice office area where we had our stairway to go from the third floor down to the second. Now, if we come back out of this room right here. Now, that closet area would be cool that... You could come out of your office area, you know, change clothes or whatnot uh, before you have to head out somewhere. All right. Um, now let's go on this side. You have more custom paintings on the wall, nice dresser, props on the dresser, some vases and more flowers. Um, also lighting over there that uh, overlooks this stairway also. So at nighttime, we still have enough light coming up those stairs. Let's go through this door right here gonna have a nice bedroom all right it's gonna be a uh, the first bedroom that we have seen um, it mentioned that it only has one bedroom you're gonna have your closet area right here behind those doors you have your entertainment system right here flat screen Samsung TV um, you're gonna have your surround sound speakers right there as well what else do we have in here we have this nice hanging seat it's hanging from the ceiling I like these seats right here very relaxing you get to sit inside um, and just sit Indian style inside those around the bed. We have our two nightstands with our two lamps. OK, you have your remote right there for your entertainment system. More custom paintings on the wall, including the pictures right there as well. And you also have access to this deck on the second floor. Also overlooking the pool on the first floor. Got a nice view of everything as well, too. This looks like this pretty much takes up this whole corner right here. All right, let's head back inside and we're going to go through this door. Now, we've been through all the doors on the second floor. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the first floor, down the stairway right here. Coming down where we see a nice stone wall fixture over here. And as we enter into the first floor, it looks like to be a dining table right here. All right, this is where you can sit down with your family members or friends and have a good, nice dinner or whatever type of meal. During that time of day, you have another dresser with more props on it. More nice marble type of balls right there with vases, flowers, custom paintings on the wall everywhere. Um, let's start on this side, okay? In this corner, we have a door. Let's go inside here. This is going to lead us into a nice area right here. Um, I would say this probably be the cigar area, if you will, all right? You have uh, your nice little mini bar right here on a tray all right so you can have your nice shots and your drinks you can sit back and just uh enjoy some conversations look at the aquarium right there um read a book or you know just chill out you know what i mean it could even be 
um, some other type of room, you know, a relaxing room or whatnot. You have a nice globe in the corner, a huge aquarium right here, though. It, it, it's, it's like looking into a pool right here, right? Yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. And not to mention, I know you've seen the piano over here. You have a nice rolling piano right there. Yep, yep, yep. That's Roland. Roland piano. And you have a nice case for all of your vintage alcohols and your liquors and wines and stuff like that. Louis the 13th, etc. You have a nice dresser over here where you can keep your glasses um, over here as well for your patrons and friends to drink. You have some nice old custom paintings right here above also. Um, yeah, it gives a nice older feel down here, especially with the paintings being uh, so old school from back in the day. Yep, this really gives an old school type of thing like the clock, the furniture, um, even a globe, you know what I mean? Uh, the couches as well. We have some nice brown leather couches in here. These give like an old school vintage feel right here as well. Uh, very nice room down here, y'all. Um, let's see. Do we have any doors down there? No, we don't. But we do have another door over here by the clock. Let's enter into here. And this is going to lead us into the indoor pool. Okay, this is our pool inside of the house that we have. We start on this side. You have more of these um, old school type of paintings on the wall. And it definitely fits the... Uh, the feng shui of everything inside of these two rooms right here with these paintings including the furniture and even the color of the furniture and the rugs like just everything complements each other in here you have these vases on each side of the pool as well as having flowers more custom paintings the coliseum over there and you have your statues in here as well all right your twerking statues all types of statues in here and the statue pretty much goes well with the picture right there <laughs> all right and if you wanted to work out you also have a treadmill okay it comes with the house after you buy all of the furniture and everything we see comes with the house fully furnished ready to go have a nice seating area right here where you can sit back and watch tv on this big huge flat screen tv right here on top of this dresser back here you have a nice couch seating area you can sit and just chill after you've done uh, swim around for a little bit or whatnot. But this is definitely a nice area right here, man. I like this. Yeah, Frank gonna have to take some swims in this one, man. So it looked like uh, we might be moving here, yo. We might have to live here for a little bit before we start renting it out. It looks good. So coming back out of that door, let's go inside of this door. And inside of this door is going to lead us to the kitchen. Okay, this is the kitchen area. You can go ahead and have yourself a nice piece of fruit if you want to. All right, everything is uh, free right here on this tray. Just for the people that's checking out the property. So, when we come in, we're going to have this nice couch seating area right there. And uh, to my right is going to be a refrigerator. Nice LG refrigerator right there. Got to have the best. More custom paintings on the wall. Nice little pantry area right here for all of your stuff in the kitchen. You see some wine bottles, pots, microwaves, champagne, knives, and uh, more cups and pots and all types of stuff right here. Uh, you also have your middle island right here with the stove inside of the middle island. All right, your blower right above it. And behind you, you have your sink on the countertop. More shelf spacing for your bowls, plates, things of that type of nature. And you have your appliances in the wall. Okay, so you have your washer, uh, you have your oven and all that inside of the wall over there. Um, bar stool seats right here so people can enjoy uh, whatever type of meal that they're provided right there. And if we go through this door right over here, it's going to lead us out into this room. More custom paintings. There's going to be a lot of flowers and vases around. Just brings out everything and those custom paintings you're definitely going to notice around the house nice little couch for a seating area right here and as you can see this looks right out into the pool area we can just go through these doors right here and we are out on the first floor in the pool area all right this is a nice little deck area seating area where people can sit down and enjoy um just the breeze or whatnot you know you have the umbrellas above you to block the sun just in case it gets too sunny and this route right here is going to lead you to that stairway 
on the side that we seen from the second floor. Uh, let's see if this one. Okay, all right. So let's head back down this way. Now we're gonna have a nice hot tub area out here as well. Okay, so you got your pool and you can climb out, jump right into the hot tub area, or vice versa. It's nice. It's nice. Around here, we also have some more um, lawn chairs right here, so you can sit down, relax, get your uh, tan on, or whatnot. Have some pool parties around here and let the ladies just, you know, relax and enjoy the sun. Um, you also got this nice area right here. It's like a, you know, little bridge area you can walk over. Now let's head back inside on this side that we were in. We came through uh, that door right there. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, hey, looks to be a bathroom right here. We got our sink right here, fully loaded with all of our uh, toiletries and stuff like that. You have our shitter right here, as well as your Kleenex behind it, our shelving space behind that, and your nice shower. Look at this shower, like a stone granite type of texture inside of here, man. Looks nice. Compliments this bathroom a lot, y'all. You have uh, shelving for all of your shampoo and uh, your conditioners and your soap, your body wash and all that. All right. Nice little small bathroom, but it has everything that you need. Let's go back inside this room, head into here, into this door. And this door is going to be our washing area, okay? We're going to have a washer back here. Um, also, some shelving space on the dresser back here. Got some shoes and stuff like that. Also could be like a nice little storage area as well. You got a ladder, um, a few tools and um, some brooms, you know, that you could sweep up little, little tiny messes and stuff like that. You got a closet there with more cleaning stuff as well. All right, you got a little thing here for your uh, dirty laundry or whatnot. All right, everybody could all use that from the pool. Let's go back through this door. All right, that leads us back into the kitchen. And we're gonna go back through this door by this dining table area and just go around it. Now you can also access the pool area from the dining room area. As you can see right here, just go through those doors. And let's check through this door right here. This door looks like it's going to lead us into a living room area, all right? We have our uh, L-shaped couch right here with our table right there with the flowers and the remote control waiting for us to use for our entertainment system, our flat screen Sony TV right there, as well as our surround sound speakers that we have. We have a nice amount of shelving around here. Also, you could also place some uh, flowers or some vases up there as well. Some books, reading material, anything that you want. And also has the Xbox series there. So you could play some council, play some games on the council if you wanted to. Um, this is a nice living room area. Definitely nice. More custom paintings on the wall as well. It has this lighting right above from the chandelier. So at nighttime, you can see everything. And it also has the access to the pool area on the first floor. This is noise. This is noise. We also have some um, staircasing over here where we could go up on the side as well. Behind this door, you have some extra uh, seats, tables, heat lamps, just in case you needed um, some more out here at nighttime with your company or whatnot. Yeah, this definitely looks good. Plus, we got lighting up here, too. So um, it's not going to be too dark out here at night. Got more lighting around here. So, yeah, we do got a nice amount of lighting around here. This is a huge place, man. Just backing up, looking at it. This is three floors, y'all. Three floors all around. It's like our own private resort, yo. Let's go up these stairs. Go up the spiral stairs. All right, and this stairway is just going to lead us back up to the third floor right here, which is pretty much the top floor. All right, back in right there. And just showing you where these stairways lead you on the outside. That'll lead you back down to the first floor. Let me go back in this door right here. Nice little study hall area. Going in this door right here. Then I'm going to go in this door right here. Leads me back into that office. Go up these stairs right here. All right. And go out this door right here. And this should lead me back into the lobby area. All right. So, um, looks like uh, the realtor had left. Um, so, looks like we're going to have to head back to the office just to make this purchase, yo. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. It's no problem. Would have been nice to just purchase it here, but uh, I don't mind driving. I love driving my car. 
Yes, I do. And plus, the realtor's office isn't that far away anyway. Excuse me, sir. Big rich fella coming through. Make room. All right, so let's go back to the office. here all right I'll go ahead and leave that running nobody can steal it anyway I have to key on me so let's see I am interested in purchasing this property there we go we are a proud owner of Doheny Road Doheny is pronounced Dohine. Dohine Road. Dohine. The word Dohine. Do Dohine. 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 Uh, Dohine. Yeah. Okay. I am the owner. That's right, buddy. I don't hear you. I'm too rich. <laughs> I'm too rich to hear you. Burke peasants. Nah. <laughs> Let's head back to our spot. All right, all right, we are back, man. This uh, this is a huge purchase. This probably is like the biggest purchase that Frank has ever made. We're buying houses. This is eighty million dollars, man. Like it, it really don't get no like bigger than that. Like I mean, well, uh, of course I could see you know somebody creating something where it's you know huger and bigger and everything. But boy, this this is big boy status right here, y'all. Big boy status, big ball and Frank status right here, man. This definitely fits uh, Frank's character right here, man. Um, I just love it out here, man. Ladies is doing good. Y'all doing good? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I ain't even tripping on you. Oh, okay. All right, I don't know where y'all gonna go. Yeah, get out then. You know what I mean? What you doing, girl? Are you trying to sniff my butt? Get away from me. Hello? Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my little property and stuff oh, right now. You know what I mean? I'm going to look over this whole city right here and figure out what building I could buy next. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about getting an Eclipse Tower behind this. You know what I mean? I don't think we got anything big or huge like that, man. So I'm going to check out that. But while I'm doing that, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section of my new property right here. My new $80 million property. Let me know what y'all think. And if y'all enjoyed the episode, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's grab is me and big bowling ass Frank. We out of here. Till next time, yo. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.